Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com for this week's ROM of the week for your Galaxy Nexus. Um, check out C-ROM with latest Android 4.4.4. Uh, this is available for the GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So all of the Galaxy Nexus, um, you can install this. Uh, it is running the latest Android 4.4.4. and also does come with a slim KitKat a kernel, which allows overclocking, uh, which is very, very nice. You can go ahead and overclock it in the performance menus. I don't recommend higher than 1.35 gigahertz, probably. Um, you can try that. And let me go ahead and show you uh, the C-ROM. This ROM is awesome. First of all, it has a multi-window. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick. And here we go. And also to install this ROM, you do have to update your clock ROM recovery to the latest version. You can go ahead and use ROM Manager, um, download it off the Play Store, update it that way. If you have trouble with that, um, you can also check out my site. Uh, there should be clock CWM twerp recovery link at the top. Uh, and uh, you can go ahead and use that to download the image file and uh, use the app Flashify um, to install the latest clock ROM recovery. Uh, here we go. So let me go ahead and show you some of the cool features about this ROM. Um, C tool, this will give you everything you need here. Oh, I forgot to show you the coolest part, uh, which is the multi window. A floating multi window. It's got a, a full floating multi window, um, which is nice. You just have to launch the app and then launch it uh, from your recents there. Um, so there we go. I've got two windows here. Now, if you want to make it snap to the top like that and then snap to the bottom, now you have full multi window working. Um, and also, you can do floating window, which is very nice um, since you know Galaxy Nexus doesn't have multi window. But with this ROM, you can sort of make it like no two. Uh, so, very nice stuff. And let me go ahead and go over some of the C tool stuff you can do. I know some of you are new to custom ROMs. Uh, for those of you who know how to do this, you can go ahead and skip all of this and go ahead and install a ROM. It's freaking awesome. Um, let me go ahead and walk you through uh, some of the important stuff you can do. Of course, power menu. Uh, let's take a look at some of the different power menus you can add. Um, screenshots. You can do screen recording. That will add these buttons easily. Um, which is very nice, so you can add a bunch of buttons. And uh, also gesture anywhere, this is sort of nice. Uh, if you set this on, make the trigger width a little bit bigger. All right, you can go ahead and add gestures. So let's say I'm, I want to launch um, Gmail. Uh, when I do G, you can do a G right there. Done, hit done there. All right, now when it's activated, if you click the left side of the screen, uh, this overlay will come. You can go ahead and type G, and ah, you know what? Did I save it? I might have not saved it here. No, I did. Uh, let me try that again. There we go. Now it's working. Um, I think I I had to hit that back button. Uh, but you can go ahead and set a bunch of different gestures. Uh, very nice stuff. So that's what it is. Animation options, um, scroll bar, you can go ahead and customize that. System animations, you can go ahead and customize all of these. Let me just show you a couple examples you can do. And right away you'll see the animation there. So that's what it is. Uh, recent panels, panel styles, um, if you do this, it's gonna reset your UI. And uh, now your recents will be in the slim a style. Some people love it. I don't actually like it too much, uh, but if you love it, the option is there. Now it's going to start uh, restart your U UI since you restart it. I'll shake events. This is one of my favorites. Um, you can have it launch some apps. Uh, what I like to use it for my for my torch. And now if I shake it horizontally, I can turn on and turn off my torch. So very nice stuff. Um, you can also set it uh, so you can shake it vertically. Um, LCD density, you can go ahead and change the LCD uh, values, density values. Um, this will allow you to run your phone in tablet mode if you want to. Just to follow the instructions and reboot and you should be good to go. Pretty simple there. Um, do we cover everything? Yes. Oh, let's go into extras here. Um, eh. Let's go to recent panel. Uh, we just did that. 
If you want to change your clear all button, uh, right now it's on the bottom left. Since I'm right-handed, it's kind of hard to get to. Um, so what you can do is set it to bottom right, and then I can go ahead and kill all apps um, using the button there. Um, shake events, we went over that. All right, those we all went over. Status bar, here we go. Uh, battery icon, you can go ahead and change it to your favorite uh, battery icon if you want to. Change the color. All right, that changed the battery bar there. Uh, pretty simple stuff there. Um, hover settings. This ROM does have hover notifications. What it is is when you have it uh, enabled, when you have notifications, um, it will hover over whatever app you're on. So if you're playing games and you get an SMS text message and you want to reply to them, you don't have to exit out of your game. Go ahead and um, do that. And there's additional options you can use here. Um, that's what it is. Uh, brightness control, double tap to sleep. You can go ahead and enable these so you can easily use the status bar to control your brightness uh, or double tap to turn off your phone. Um, also, you can enable a traffic monitor, which will show you uh, all the um, traffic going in and out of your phone. Um, clock and date, you can also disable this. Uh, or uh, what I like to do is set this to center, um, sort of move everything to the center there. Uh, if you need AM, PM, um, date, there we go. I got the date now. Um, you can also change the color if you want to. Um, sort of customize it just the way you want to. So very nice stuff. Um, what else is there? Can I show you some? That's cool. Let me see. Notification drawer. Um, here we go. You can go ahead and uh, customize your tiles, your quick setting tiles here. Go ahead and add all of these different buttons. Oops. Ah. Uh, hover. You can go ahead and uh, you know with the shake events. Um, you can add this so you know you don't want to if you want to toggle it off for example you're driving in your car and it might go off uh, if you have a you know car that shakes a lot so you can go ahead and turn that off easily um, once you have that set so on and off pretty simple all right let's go ahead and go to the next stuff lock screen uh, you probably noticed that I have a bunch of lock screen notifications now this comes uh, by default, you can go ahead and clear it out, um, or you can press on it to, to actually see it. There we go. Um, so very nice stuff there. I, I really love that. Um, let me go ahead and show you. You can also add up to eight different slider targets. Uh, these are shortcuts from your lock screen. So, you know, this is one of my favorite features and why I use uh, AOSP ROMs. There we go. And you can set up to eight and go straight into your browser. Pretty stuff. Pretty simple stuff. These are all simple, but I know some of you might not know it, and that's why we're going over them. Uh, slider torch. This will also activate the torch if you hold this button down. Torch on, and it will turn off when you let go. Uh, great for you know um, going through your dark garage. All right, notifications on lock screen. And I think this this is actually on by default. I don't know why it's checked off, but um, you can go ahead and turn it off if you don't want them. Active display also, similar stuff. I don't use this much, but it is there. Widgets. All right, navigation, sort of important here. Let me show you how to um, get more buttons. Go to buttons, and you can go ahead and actually change what all of these buttons do. Also add custom app shortcuts. A very nice a way to add a camera. You can actually add up to eight different ones. Now the good thing with this one is that you can also um, change what these do when you do a long press. Um, there we go. When you do a long press, um, you can have it going to another app. Uh, for example, for camera, maybe for long press, you can have it take a screenshot. So now this button, if I hold it down, it'll take a screenshot. And if I just hit it, it's going to go into my camera. Um, so very nice stuff. And while we're at the camera, let's take a look at the camera here. This is the AOSP camera. Um, now, if you want panorama, photosphere, and stuff, you can go ahead and grab uh, the Google camera off the Play Store. Um, also, then you'll have two different cameras to work with. 
Uh, so very good stuff there. And what else is there? Ring targets, this is actually very, very useful. Uh, if you swipe up from the bottom, right now it's defaults to Google Now, but you can, I think, add up to almost five different shortcuts here. Um, so an additional way to add more shortcuts, and you can go straight there. So very nice stuff. I'll make use of that. And also you can change the height and width of your navigation bar to make your screen bigger uh, if you want to. I usually do that. And also, there is no hardware buttons on this phone, so we'll skip that one. Pi controls, love this one too. Um, trigger options, make sure you set it to the right or left or both if you want to. If you swipe uh, from the middle of the screen, from the right or left, um, super fast. Ah, super fast, okay. <laughs> it's not working for some reason. There we go. All right, you get the hang of it. Um, you can also set different shortcuts to these. There's two layers you can customize. So additional stuff you can add a bunch of shortcuts, make your phone efficient. Now if you use a certain number of apps every day and you use them often, um, this can save you a lot of time during a course of a year. Um, there's even more stuff you can do. App circle bar, this is awesome, I love this. This is actually sort of like Pi. Let me go ahead and include so several apps that I want. Um, now if you click on the right edge of the screen, um, you will get your shortcuts where you can kind of go through. Looks really cool. I really like it. All right. And app bar also, this one is um, going to be on the left side. You can go ahead and also add a bunch of different apps. Sort of makes your phone into like a desktop PC. Um, oops. Make sure you hit save. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And hit save there. Sorry, we got cut off there. So you can use a combination of all these different shortcuts. Uh, mix tab. Now, if you want to save battery during, uh, if you go to sleep at a certain time every day, you can go ahead and leave this on. Set the time. Um, disable some of the stuff like GPS, Wi-Fi that you don't need. Um, you can go ahead and set that additional stuff. Uh, miscellaneous on-the-go mode. This is great if you live in New York City uh, and you're walking and want to use your phone. Um, set go uh, on the go mode on and then you'll be able to see through your phone and use your phone at the same time um, on the go mode now you should have an option there in the power menu once you uh, enable that all right I think that's pretty much it but um that's a ton of stuff also omni switch similar to pi control I'll let you try with that one uh, but overall performance is excellent on this ROM uh, and 2.2 two benchmarks, you can expect 87.37. A uh, stock Galaxy Nexus does about 6,000. So definitely that's a total improvement from the Android 4.4.4. Uh, uh, also, if you do overclock, you can get additional performance out of it. And also, if you do want to um, get additional performance, um, change your wallpaper. Don't have one of those. Just have a um, just a regular wallpaper, you know, because those things take up a lot of power um, just having a static one will probably give you a lot better battery life. Uh, but do check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. This ROM will, you know, get you on the latest Android 4.4.4. Um, you know, get your working, get your phone working super fast. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's amazing what uh, Google has done. Um, you know, with the OS, you know, they've literally turned a really old phone into a new phone. Um, something that companies wouldn't do because they want to sell new phones, not let people keep using the old phones. But this makes it like just as good as some of the you know, newer phones that came after uh, this. But my Galaxy Nexus is super fast. Um, I can't believe it. Some of my older phones, I installed the latest 4.4.4. It's great. You know, I've just been revi reviving some of my old phones. Um, and you should have no problems and that touch thing is because my 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 daughter put that sticker and I can't sometimes I miss that button. Anyway, um check it out for this week's round of the week. It is available for Galaxy Nexus GSM Verizon Sprint. Uh this is definitely one of those ROMs you can install and use it for many months until the next 5.0 comes out. Um so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think. Uh and as always, if you have a Galaxy Nexus, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh galaxynexusroot.com and I will see you guys soon.
And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay here on Android.